the other day, I was happily watching the Night of Ten Thousands, having a few beers, mulling over my injury that I'd just gotten. And I had the thought, I wonder if I could get fit enough to compete in this race next year. So now I have challenged myself to try and run sub 32 minutes for 10k by this time next year. So welcome your faces back. Uh, sorry my upload's just been terrible. I just got carried away, you know what I mean, having another kid and all the audacity. But um, we've lost a bit of weight, a bit thin around the old face. And we're going to try and do this. So we're going to try and run a 10k in a year. Well, I'm going to do more stuff in between. But the overall goal is to try and run at the night of, ten, night of 10k PBs. And I need to run sub 32 minutes. So... How am I going to do that is the biggest question. Um, I've just come off the back of an injury. I've done like eight weeks straight of training, got to 42 miles a week. Everything was going really well. And then I decided to boot a ball really hard in the garden, strain my calf a little bit. Brilliant. So I was out for like 10 days. I am now back running this week. Yesterday, uh, the day before, I managed to do uh, three miles. Three miles yesterday and i've done three miles today so everything's going well we're moving in the right direction but we somehow need to go from where i was just at 39 minute 10k at the end of one of my inside one of my runs to running sub 32 minutes for 10k um so that's going to be difficult it's also very windy outside we're back in the shed uh, the shed now just consists of a bike um, and loads of shoes and um, the treadmill is officially broken it's outside i would show you but uh, rebecca my partner will go mental if I show you the floor outside, because it's like that Monica's covered part of the garden that no one wants to see. So treadmill is officially dead, so all the running will be done outside. I'll see you all in a sec. An earpod in for no reason whatsoever. Not even on, no music playing or anything, obviously because I'm making a video, so there'll be music on. Anyway, um, I don't know why I switched it back on. I'll see you all in a sec. Just thought I'd talk about the iPod in there. It's not a flex or anything, just stupid. Anyway, um, I'll get talking more about the running stuff. All right, welcome to my semi-clean whiteboard and that's obviously me in the reflection, so let's just ignore that. So the goal is to run a 32 minute 10K in 30, 365 days-ish, because we've lost a few days. Um, and how are we gonna do that? I suppose I should have written more on the board. Give me one sec. I've kind of done it again. I've like wrote a bit and forgot anyway so we need to work backwards from the goal so basically what we need to work out is what we need to run to run 32 minutes or under and then work backwards from there and break it down into 200 400 a mile a k etc so that's what we'll do i'll add more to this whiteboard at some point but and i'll clean it up a little bit it's a bit messy uh but i've never used this whiteboard i bought it and wrote just nothing on it so it's the first real stuff i've written i just wrote treadmill times on it before if anyone was interested, that's me again. All right, how you doing? Um, but yeah, I'll see you in a sec. So the goal, uh, if you haven't guessed it yet, whiteboard's behind me there still, is to try and run sub 32 minutes for 10K in a year. So 365 days, like ish. I don't know why I'm going on about the ish thing, but it's under 300, it's under a year, only by a few days, but still. Um, and things were going really well, and I didn't have any goals before this point. And obviously I've got injured, and watching the night of 10Ks and just thought I need something to aim for because up eight weeks up to this point, I've just been messing around, going out running, really enjoying it, running really hard some days, slow some other days. And when I've ran well and ran strong, I've felt really good and really strong. I think that's been helped by some of the shoes I've been wearing. Like, um, I've been wearing these Endorphin Speed 2s, which are absolutely amazing. Um, I've got like two pairs of them and I rotated them in and out and I was flowing really nicely in these. I wasn't using them every day. I use these quite a lot. Hashtag not sponsored, it just happens to be Sacconi, the Endorphin Shift, or is that what it's called? Endorphin Shift 2, amazing shoe. Um, I've been using the Invin Nike Invincible um, 1, I don't know why I was going to say 2, but just flowing along nicely and these shoes sort of aiding with my recovery and because I've got a bit older, 37, um, they've sort of helped me be able to recover quicker and flow nicer and I feel more in control of my stride where I've been running before and there's been a lot of times where I just haven't been in control of what I've been able to do and I really should have locked that gate but I didn't um so sorry about that you might hear it bang a few bit more because it's a bit noisy but um and that gate and that door one sec I'm coming I'm just gonna do dinner so um, what I'm saying is this is just going to be a test to see how fit I can get and how strong I can get. I'm going to try and make some more videos. I know my upload schedules and stuff are horrendous, but I'll try and be better. Um, but yeah, this is just me like saying like I'm going to try and run 
a 10k. I'm gonna show you what I do, show you my training, like the last three days since coming back from injury, I did minute on, minute off for 15 minutes. Um, then I done a three mile run and then another three mile run and things are feeling good. I've still got some phantom pains in my calf and stuff, but I'm gonna try and explain what I'm doing and how I'm gonna do it. Um, and hopefully you can follow along too, maybe get a PB or two or tell me I'm wrong and that I'm too old and I should probably stop and that's fine. But I will see you all later. Have a fantastic day. And yeah, bye. I don't know what to do with my hands, but see you in a bit.